Welcome to African Teapot Podcast. My name is Exi and I'm your host. Journey with me through Africa's vast variety of culture, heritage, and discuss issues most African families face, both home and abroad. Make sure you add this podcast to your frequent podcast rotations and don't forget to share and follow this podcast. Hello guys and welcome for another episode on African Teapot. Today's episode is titled Choose What You Consume. And before we get into that gesting, hopefully you all had an amazing week. And if you're struggling with allergies like me, sister, brother, just all I can say is we're going to pull through it, right? Spring is beautiful, but it comes with its perks. So no matter what it is that you're facing or you faced, um, the prayer that we have here on African Teapot is that we are optimistic that we get through it, right? And I want to introduce a little new segment to the show, and this is going to be called African Fact Tip. African Fact Tip is pretty much just sharing something with you guys that is about Africa. We are all about sharing our culture. We are all about telling people our stories from our perspective, you know, a piece at a time. And at the same time, changing some of these stereotypes people have or misconceptions people have about the continent and about us as a people. So the African fact tip for this week is going to be all African countries have airports and planes. Okay, I don't think I need to expand on that. If you have any other questions, like I say, you can always ask, email us, comment, you know, DM, whatever means you choose. But the same way you can ask those questions, if you have any piece of information that you think that um, people ought to hear or pe- you, people ought to be clarified on, or you just need to bring attention to that aspect of your culture or a culture that, um, you, or tradition that you found interesting, please, you can always email, DM, you know, comment, how, text, whatever means I am open. Okay. So we are open for questions and we are open for suggestions as well. Now, getting into our topic. Okay, guys, I'm going to just do this background quickly because it's not about this, but I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Derek Jackson. A few weeks ago, I had a lot of videos forwarded to me from co-workers and friends about Derek Jackson. He was all over social media trending because he's a relationship expert and he holds seminars and he he's a writer. He has written a couple of books and he's... He has a huge following on YouTube and uh, to, um, Instagram and Twitter and all of that, right? Talking about women and relationships, pretty much he's talking for the women, telling women how men think. Um, if a man does this, then don't date him. If a man does this, kick him out, right? Cheating was one of the biggest ones. We all know cheating is the big, biggest deals when we're talking about relationships. And he capitalizes in this, telling the women or us women, what we want to hear, right? If a man does this, kick him out. If there's no forgiveness for a cheat. Fast forward to a couple of weeks ago. Here he was, he was accused of cheating on his wife of, I don't know if I'm right, I might be wrong with the number here, but I think 10 years, by cheating on his wife. And he, not just with one woman, multiple, and to the fact that one of these mistresses went on air and was explaining that she, he brought, flew her in and, um, they slept on his on the on his uh, matrimonial bed, I guess when his wife was not there, to the point where and not it's alleged that he has impregnated another mistress, right? So, at this point, it could be more than one woman, two, three. You know, I, I I'm just saying where the story met me and what I know because I didn't follow him before. And I'm not really following him right now. So all of that was said, and I just want to put a little bit of a story behind why I chose to do to this topic. So he first came out denying the allegations. Then he suddenly came out and accepted the allegations, this time with his wife on the video, accepting along with what he said, that she has forgiven him and everything like that. And then later he came and did a reaction video to that video. I mean, just go on YouTube, guys. I can't, like I said, this is not about him. Okay. It's just an example. But so many people were upset about it and they were saying he's the one who preaches on forgiveness to anybody who cheats and here his wife forgave him and he's preaching that people should be tolerant and give him a second chance and things like that. 
Okay, now that brought me to the topic. Uh, what you watch, listen, listen to and read is to the soul like the food is to the body. Okay, what you eat is very important in your body. So you need to watch it or at least you are responsible for it. If you're eating the wrong thing, when you go to the doctor, nobody is to blame but you who was eating it, right? It's the same thing with what you're watching, it's the same thing what you're reading and the same thing what you're listening to, all right? YouTube and social media these days is producing experts at an alarming rate, especially these life coaches, relationship coaches, health coaches, spiritual coaches. I mean, everybody, everybody can say what their opinion or share their experiences. I mean, they're everywhere. Why? Because I think this last couple of years, especially last year with COVID and everything that people went through, loss of jobs and loss of family members, so many people need inspiration. So many people need to take care of the mind. Okay. People are beginning to realize it's not all about working out and eating healthy. You also need to take care of your mind You also need to be watchful of your inner self, of your emotions, right? So that is why you have all these experts at a rise because we are out here to consume it. But this topic is for us, the consumers, is for you who listens, who follows or subscribes to anybody, including me who is speaking, right? Most often you need to be aware. You you need to screen what you're doing. It doesn't matter. It's not only food. You understand? It's not only the school you attend. Anything you do, even the clothes that you, when you go shopping, before you make up your mind, you think about it, right? Is this practical? Do I really like it? Do I like the color? What about the price? Is it within my budget? You check all of these things. The same thing goes with what you're consuming on social media. A motivational speaker, someone who says they're a motivational speaker does not mean that they're an expert. Please, my dear African brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, uncles, aunts, children, boy and girl, African community. I went on Facebook and I was surprised the amount, just my country, Cameroon, the amount of Cameroon motivational speakers and some of them being extremely loud, some of them spending time fighting about followers or some of them truly being there, making a change and a difference and other people just bashing. And I mean, I, I commend the people that I saw there who are on everybody's page. I mean, if you're there for entertainment, if you're there to pass your time, if you're there, because many people are stuck at home. If you're there for that, it's different. But there are some people that are there that rely on this advice. There are people that take these things, a lot of these people say, into account. You understand? I'm speaking to you. If you're that person, you need to be a little bit more watchful as to what you listen to, what you apply to your life, and what you're consuming. All right. Um, high, another thing is high subscribers or following doesn't mean that person is an expert. Doesn't mean that what they are saying is necessarily right. People might be subscribing. If you go now to Derek Jackson, he has more subscribers than he did before. Why? So many people are going there because of the entertainment. They want to see, they want to watch how he struggles, how he, he speaks back and forth, listen, watch the, read the comments, listen to people making videos about him. It's entertainment for some people, okay? So sometimes those numbers you see there doesn't necessarily mean that that person is saying what is correct or doesn't mean that when you are listening to that person, what he's saying is the beginning and the end. That person is open to criticisms. That person is open for you to fact check what they're saying, Okay? So there there are just certain things that you need to be aware of when you're listening to someone. When someone tells you that they've had professional training, that's a tick. I'm not saying that everybody should have professional training. We're just going down different tips, okay? If someone says they have professional training, someone is speaking from a personal experience or a life journey about what they're talking about, then that's different. Or maybe the they lost someone or they know someone very close to them that is going through something that similar to the topic they are talking about, then that's different, okay? Because they say experience, life gives people a lot of experience, right? Okay, if the information that someone is passing on is not toxic, is not hateful, is not vengeful or promoting a behavior or life that is not you, then that's okay. 
that if someone is promoting anything other than these things, then you need to double check what you're consuming, especially, again, if you're applying this to your life, okay? Someone sounding like they are perfect and says all you want to, and says all you want to hear, pretty much if, everything they're saying is exactly what you think, then there is something wrong because you only learn because someone is saying something different from what you're saying or you reflect and double check yourself because somebody sounds slightly different from, from you. But if someone is saying the same thing you know and you're just nodding and nodding from the beginning to the end, then something is wrong, all right? Being a fan of somebody is different from listening to their opinion and fact-checking it. Some of you worship those you listen to. That is not what I'm talking about. Now you are, now when that person does wrong, you can't even believe it because they are going through brainwashing. That's different, okay? A motivational speaker should be encouraging growth and helping you to harness your strength and making you realize that your weaknesses should not draw you back, okay? It only means that you're human. That, so that's just what I wanted to share with you guys. And please stop worshiping these motivational speakers. Stop taking their things and going. And maybe what someone says might work for some people and not work for you. Again, that's what I'm saying. When you listen to someone, double check what they're saying, right? You go to a doctor, you come back, you still ask questions. That's all what I'm saying. But when you listen to one person from the beginning to the end, everything they say is perfect. There is no difference. There is no change. All of that kind of stuff. And then even when they do wrong, you can't see it. Someone is trying to correct you. You wouldn't hear it. I mean, that's when there is brainwashing going on. And that's when you're worshiping. A human being because like the saying goes you are your first doctor okay so that's what I just wanted to share with you guys today and hopefully you get my message this includes what I do if I'm saying something and it doesn't make sense that's why I always encourage questions and encourage you to listen to other people okay it's not the big this is not a bible it's not like I'm using a bible here all right we are having fun and it's a journey for both you and I that should be how someone should sound, not sounding perfect, not sounding like a God, not sounding like their life. It's almost, I mean, not putting their life out there. So it's kind of like you are listening to someone bring out this perfection, something you wish you had, which is not attainable as a human being because you are flawed and even them speaking are flawed. Okay. So they're only giving opinions and they're only telling you things that you can decide to use if it works for you or not okay all right so i'll see you guys next week for another episode and thank you so much for listening y'all thank you for listening and hope you join me for the next episode you can always reach us via email at african teapot at gmail.com and follow us on instagram at at African underscore teapot.